Hey everybody, welcome to my YouTube channel. This is Chris Glitzos and I'm known as a wood tinkerer. And today this video is a little different than actually producing something. It has more to do with purchasing equipment. Now most of my equipment that I have today was purchased out of Craigslist. I am a firm believer that you could get fantastic deals in Craigslist. Now, I am going to go over some of the pieces that were under $100 that need to be cleaned up, that need to be put in working order, but if you look at them, man, they were a good price. You couldn't, you couldn't actually let them go. And what does that mean for me? I'm going to have the enjoyment of actually putting other projects together with them and it's going to make my life easier. Now with no further ado, let me show you what we're talking about. This is one of my favorite. It's a Craftsman. I paid $50 for this baby. Compared to what you can get today for about 300 bucks, this is one of the best ones in the market. It actually belonged to a gentleman that was left over by his father and he took very very good care of it and this is a workhorse this is actually going to last a long time then right on this side is a bandsaw now this bandsaw okay it is a delta this one cost me $35 and it's in very very good working condition this is a radial saw this thing is so very very well built and it only cost me $35. The blade on this is brand new. I believe he said that he paid about $75 for the blade, but he was moving out of state and he had to let it go. And I think it's gonna be a beautiful addition to the shop once I get it going. The next one that I'm gonna show you is a jointer. And the jointer, got to be at least 50 years old. You can't find nothing like that. This one is really going to be a work in progress. But with no further ado, let me show you what that looks like too as well. All right, here we go. Now, this is a jointer that I purchased. And I have taken it apart. And there's the blades to it. Now, you're probably going to think that this is way too much work for someone to get started into the hobby, but I have all the nuts and bolts that came with it. Everything is the way it was when it was original. Now I did take out the parts for it and I will be putting it all together, but for $50, I, you couldn't go wrong. I believe that this one will be up and working. Two reasons. All it needs is one bearing and the blades, and I believe I could actually find the blades. Once it is working, it's going to make a hell of addition in my shop. Here we have the lathe. Uh, the lathe, it's one of my favorite tools. You can actually get really, really creative, uh, you know, making bowls and maybe a top and other things and this one here I can't hardly wait to put it in use. I'm holding a little bit back because I haven't decided whether to take it completely apart and restore it or just go right into it and just put it into use right away. This was a $65 lathe. I don't think you could get a lathe for $65 out there, brand new one. But if you keep up with Craig's list, I'm pretty sure you can even find one less than $65. And if you're lucky enough, you may even have the hand tools that go with it. I can't hardly wait to set it up. And you know what? I may even get started today after this video is over. So this is one other tool that I enjoyed out of Craig's list. This right here is one of my best buys ever yet. It's almost brand new. This one is a 4x36 inch belt sander and it has a 6 inch disc sander as well with a 2 third horsepower motor. Now the guy that I bought it from, he used to go to auctions at storage lots of storage areas and what happened was he stumbled on a storage compartment that had nothing but power tools. This was the last one he didn't sell he let it go for $35 and you can't beat the price. 
Now, this is one of my other best buys. This one cost me a little bit more, but if you do go out and find it today, it's still a very, very good buy because these could run up to almost eight to nine hundred dollars for a good one, and this is just as good as one of the professional ones out there. This is a workhorse. Not bad for $125, don't you think? I want to thank everybody out there on the YouTube channel who followed me with this video, especially me trying to show you some of the treasures that I picked up at Craigslist. They made me extremely happy. First of all, they were within a budget. It took a little time to accumulate, but what it did is it got me into my hobby as a wood tinkerer. So this way I could start making projects in the near future that I will enjoy making them and you may enjoy watching them. So with no further ado to everybody out there, go out there, happy hunting on Craigslist, find the best tools for the budget. They're out there, take a little time. And if you like the channel and you want more, please subscribe. There'll be a lot more to come. In the meantime, to everybody, thank you very, very much and have a wonderful, wonderful hunting season. Thanks.